Now, we will learn about the purpose of the Google Play Store for Android mobile devices. The Google Play Store allows users to browse, purchase, and download apps specially designed for their mobile devices. Let us show you some features of the Google Play Store for Android devices. First, tap on the Google Play Store icon to access the Android App Store. You can search for apps using the search bar at the top of the page. Tap on the Games tab at the bottom left-hand corner. On this page, you can access the different tabs such as specially curated games under the For You tab and the most popular games under the Top Charts tab. Tap on the Apps tab at the bottom. On this page, you can find app recommendations by categories. Tap on the Books tab at the bottom. On this page, you can access the different tabs to find different kinds of books such as ebooks or audiobooks. We will now show you how to log in to the Google Play Store. Tap on the profile icon at the top right hand corner. Provide your email address. The email address that you provide will be your App Store login. The next time you log in via pressing the profile icon at the top right hand corner of the screen, you will be prompted to enter your email address. Enter the email address you have provided, as well as your password to log in. Now, we will show you how to download, locate, set up and uninstall an app on Android devices. Tap on the Google Play Store icon to access the Android App Store. Tap on the search bar at the top of the app to search for apps within the same category. You can also enter the name of the app you wish to search for. For example, we may wish to search for the My Transport SG app. Type My Transport SG into the search bar to search for the app. Click on the My Transport SG app to enter the app's dedicated page. Always verify the authenticity of the app using official websites and sources, even if they are available on the official Apple App Store or Google Play Store. To assess the app's reliability click on the Ratings icon. This will bring you to a page that shows the number of ratings, as well as the rating of the app out of 5, with 5 being the best and 1 being the worst. You can also read some of the reviews left by other users of the app. Tap on the Install button to download the app. If an Install button is displayed instead of a price, the app is free. If a price is shown, you will need to purchase the app before you can download it. This icon shows that the app is downloading. Tap on Cancel only if you wish to cancel the download. Once the app is downloaded onto your device, the Open button will appear. Tap on the Open button to access the app. You will also find that a shortcut for the app has been automatically created for you on your home screen. In future, you can tap on the icon to access the app. Now, we will learn how to set up an app. If your app uses location services, you will see a pop-up requesting you to set location permissions. When setting up an app, always grant an app permission only if necessary. Now, we will show you how to uninstall an app on Android. Press and hold on the app that you wish to delete. A list of options will appear. Tap on Uninstall. Tap on OK to confirm your decision.
Thank you for watching. We hope you found our video useful. If you have more queries or wish to learn other digital skills, visit us at your nearest SG Digital Community Hub or call us at 637-73800 to make an appointment. See you!